I made this carriage stop for my 12 inch lathe. Uh, I uh, used a small radius corner rounding bit to break the corners, the edges on the top of this because it was all I had. I didn't have a chamfer bit. Monday I went down to the tool supply house and they didn't have one either. I was going to have to order one. So I got around here, sit around today and I made one. Nothing fancy. Kind of big for most stuff. But most of the things I work on are I think it'll work. Just two flutes, raised on carbide. Still needs to be sharpened. I haven't, haven't been able to get out to my grinder. It's got the stone on it, but uh, as you can see, this was this was done with it, and it's hasn't had been had a grinder touch it yet. I set these carbides uh, about uh, they're about eight inch thick so they're a little less than sixty thousandths deep. They're a little proud sticking above so they're but they still need to the back side broke off of them but I think it's still a pretty good job. That's a big old piece of cast iron I had laying around here. And uh, so, let's see what it does. So it's going to make some little bit of noise. Um, and the back side of that carbide's dragging. So that'll grind it down a little bit. That's about 600 RPMs, which is probably, probably fast, but. I've already went around this piece a couple of times. I didn't have any trouble with the same thing. That's a pretty good cut kind of cross there. <laughs> See right there, I was cutting cutting deeper than the carbide. The carbides are only about a half inch long so you can't take a, a really super big bite with it. But as the results uh, took it out this morning and ground the back side of the flutes off a little bit. If we can find it. See right there where I ground the back of the flute off and put a little edge on that carbide. Seems to do all right in that interrupted cut in that cast iron and knock edges off. So, you know, save 20, 30 bucks. <laughs>